Hey everybody, Alex Kazora, SteelersDepot.com, back with some Pittsburgh Steelers tape breakdown and analysis. Want to talk about Devin Bush today, obviously a very polarizing player, a first round pick who has never quite lived up to expectations, had the torn ACL in 2020. I've been obviously pretty critical of Devin Bush throughout his career, but I do want to note, it is important to note his progress and progression and the strides he's made this year is that to the point where he's going to be somebody that'll be in Pittsburgh for a long time or even next year, that's certainly pretty debatable. But I just want to at least in in, uh, in a moment, in a couple of clips, show Bush's improvement and why he has been a lot better this year than last year and frankly, probably any point of his career. I want to break down Bush in two aspects. One, a physicality uh, aspect, and then also two, a communication, just body language standpoint, just feels a bit more confident and in, in, in a better place. Also want to apologize for my voice sounding the way it does, worse than usual. I'm getting over a cold, unfortunately, so if I sound terrible, um, again, sorry about that. But I want to look at Devin Bush here, uh, this clip here against the Saints. Just watch him take on the block here last year, just so much more tentative. Um, wasn't playing downhill, trying to go around blocks instead of through blocks and attacking blocks. We watch him take the center here, shock him back. Doesn't impact the play in the sense of him making the tackle or things like that, but um, you're seeing Bush do things and play downhill and read things quicker, and you just did not, you did not see that play last year. I think really the only time you saw maybe something similar to that was in 2020 prior to his ACL tear five games into the year, um, but even then, to this level, just seeing Bush play with heavy hands like that, a violent punch, that did not occur, certainly not last year, um, and probably really no point of his career, so just to see that as a baseline level is really encouraging. Rest of these clips will come from Sunday's loss to the Bengals, and here is Devin Bush, number 55, and just watch him take on the center again. Center's going to pull across, and you just see the physicality, the violence on contact here, and this time he does make the play, does make the tackle. Uh, on the back, P. Ryan, and that is shocking that center back, who's a good center. Take Karras is a good player. The Bengals have done well to to add and try to improve their offensive line, and you see Bush um, read this one play inside out, a big pop there on the center, knocking uh, Karras to the ground, a reverse pancake. We'll look at it from the aerial view. There's Devin Bush right there. Watch the center coming across, Bush inside out, and then boom, right there, just a big shot on Karras, and then has the presence of mind to make the tackle on P. Ryan, and Bush knows that too. You see him get up and point a little bit to Karras, like, hey, look what I just did there. Again, plays you would not see him make in the past, but there's Bush saying, hey, you guys see that that lineman on the ground? Yeah, that was me. And um, again, physicality, taking on blocks, playing downhill, playing inside out, finding the back, making the tackle. Bush has been a really good tackler, even throughout his whole career, but certainly this year, um, his missed tackle rate is, is one of the best on the team at about 3%, so um, really a good combination of of aspects of Bush's play on display on this rep. Rest of these clips will be more of communication and body language and pre-snap things that I know may not necessarily seem like a lot, and you get judged by what you do post-snap, but I just like to see how active Bush has been, how much of a participant he's been in in some of these pre-snap communications, watching him here um, talk to Robert Spillane and then look to his left, and he's communicating a check here as well. And communication is more than just one guy. It's a whole group talking to each other. Everybody has to understand what each other is doing. Um, but I just like to see overall uh, the way that Bush is talking with guys. His body language seems more positive. And that just, to me, when you're communicating, when you're taking charge, when you're doing some of the things you're seeing Bush do here pre-snap, to me, that shows you're more confident, that you're more um, able to step up and be in some of those bigger leadership positions. And you know what you're doing, and you want to make sure other people know uh, what you're doing as well. So seeing him talk to Spillane in this situation, they're covering the slant flat concept here. So he's talking to the cornerback, Levi Wallace. He's taking the flat, uh, ends up being a corner route, not a slant route, but you're seeing the communication. Okay, who's taking the back? And as the back goes away, we're talking. Um, as the back ends up, or as the tight end comes across, you're, they're talking as well. And so you see Bush respond to the motion here. He's talking to Spillane. Mixon comes across. Okay, now I'm going to talk um, to the corner because the back's away, so I'm not responsible for the tight end or whatever exactly they're discussing here. Um, I just like to see that overall from Devin Bush's communication skills to me in terms of what I can visibly see are, are pretty impressive. Um, and again, a big step up from last year. Another example of that later in the game, watch the back uh, shift across here and Devin Bush, you know, calling off or whatever uh, the, the signal was. Now they're playing some games here with the motion here, but, but again, the principle is less about what exactly the checks are, but you see Bush act the participant as that back motions away 
um, communicating with the rest of his defense. Um, the one taking a lot of charge here. And again, communication is a is an 11 man job. It's not just about Devin Bush communicating, um, but you're seeing him be a lot more vocal. It looks like I'm sure he's you know audibly talking as opposed to him obviously using hand signals as well. I just like to see that overall from Devin Bush. He has responsibility on the back on this play. As the back's assignment shifts, so does Bush's communication. Obviously a bad outcome here. Levi Wallace a bad rep here on Trenton Irwin, of all people, to, to have a really big game. But putting that aside, Devin Bush seeing that positivity overall. Last example, and a really good one for Devin Bush. And he might be anticipating some of the motion here. Oftentimes when these tight ends, they line up off ball like this, you can, based on tape study, know that sometimes these guys are going to motion across. And, and maybe he's timing it up right as Joe Burrow signals that. It's a little hard to tell. But you're seeing Bush talk to Miles Jack here before this tight end really even gets moving that, hey, this tight end's coming across. We're going to shift our front. We're going to shift here to this over front. We're just going to shift the line um, down a gap and put TJ Watt off ball into the uh, a gap here, but you're seeing Bush communicate with Miles Shack. I like seeing him anticipate, maybe kind of keying some of that off ball motion there based off a, a film study that, hey, that tight end's going to come across when they're in a certain set and certain look. Um, it happens right as, and maybe even right before Joe Burrow motions him. So you're seeing him, I think, almost anticipate what's going to happen, communicate that, and then make sure everybody is assignment sound, and he ends up kind of helping out on the tackle uh, on this play. And so again, just like seeing the communication, like seeing the body language, he's more energetic. Um, he looks to be more positive overall. So those are all really encouraging signs for Devin Bush. Now, are there still issues with this game? Are there still mistakes in this game? Yes, I still think processing some things post-snap had been an issue for him, including in this game. Does he still make some some brain farts, you know, to be honest with you, that, that really still kind of make you cringe? Sure. Um, you know, is he still is he a high-level player making a ton of impact plays? No. But putting all that aside, just focusing on the positive, focusing on the progression, I've certainly seen that from Devin Bush from a physicality perspective and just a communication perspective, a guy that's kind of really just come out of his shell a bit. I think, again, playing with more confidence. I think him just, A, playing better, kind of feeds itself to playing better um, over time, that domino, that snowball effect. And, of course, Brian Flores, I'm sure, has had a positive impact on him as well. So what does that mean for Devin Bush's future? You know, do I think he's going to be a stealer in 2023? If you're asking me today, I don't, but um, I do want to at least be objective because I have been so critical of him, and I think rightfully so, but um, I think he has gotten better in a lot of key aspects, and we'll see where the, where the uh, rest of the season leads him and this defense. So just wanted to highlight that for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like on this video and also subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate that. We'll have a lot of Colts coverage for you in the coming days as Pittsburgh gets ready for their Monday night game at Indianapolis. Again, thank you for watching and we'll talk to you soon.